It's first and foremost to get an opportunity to work with, with actors like Barry and the other actors in this cast and, and our writer uh, uh, Bill Broyles and his son David and Bruce McKenna. I've been fans of these guys for a very long time. Um, and, and, and secondly, and I, I would imagine most, most importantly, is, is the story itself. You know, to, to uh, uh, the story that I personally go on, the character that I play, Rip Taggart, and, uh, and, and was, what that has to say about conflict and war, and, um, and, and, and just to honor uh, the, the people that serve in my country and other countries on both sides of conflict. I mean, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's something to ask people to go and fight for your cause, even if it's their cause. They, they sacrifice a lot, and, and, and I felt that it was a way to, to honor their sacrifice. Um, I'll echo uh, what Walton said with regards to the caliber of, uh, of, of people involved in this show. I think it's a no-brainer when it comes to that, you know, you want to kind of be amongst that talent and that creativity and, and the heart, the real, you know, these are, these are artists both in front and behind the camera who really want to tell this story truthfully and want to get to the heart of the cost of war and what it is. Um, and as an Englishman, you know, to play an iconic American hero as such was something that was, you know, too good to pass up. And um, it's a real honor as a foreigner to be given this responsibility and, and certainly not something that I took lightly throughout my preparation, my physical <laughs> torture. Breakdown. Through, yeah, physical and mental and, you know, you know when you take on these roles, and, and, and you know Walt, Walton will touch on it as well. You know, for the entire shoot, mentally and physically, everyone was in a, in such a dark space because these guys are surrounded by death on a daily basis. I mean, it's the, it's the majority of their life, you know, and dealing with that. And um, you know, it was it was a real journey to go on and, and to walk a mile in these shoes. It's a no-brainer. My preparation was, was different than, than, than these guys in the sense that I spend most of my time in incarceration. And, and that's not giving anything away. That's uh, in the actual uh, promotional material. You know, it's in the, in, the, in the trailer for the show. So for me, it was really just kind of, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know how. I didn't, I, I, there is nothing to prepare for other than to turn yourself over to an imaginary set of circumstances and then know that you are in a compromised position. Uh, uh, you know, o over the course of, uh, of, of three months. And, and, and to, to be subjected to that kind of mental and spiritual torture, you know, to have your freedoms taken away, um, which is, uh, you know, something that doesn't happen that often in, in, in where we come from, but it happens every fucking day to m most of the people in the world. And, uh, and, and, and I, you know, I got to go home every night um, but for, for a minute or for hours during the day, I got to taste what that feels like. And, and, uh, and, and hopefully through, through interviews like this, be able to bring awareness yeah. to just how unjust the, the world can be in situations like this. And, uh, and so, so uh, for me, it was really a matter of kind of getting out of my way and, and not making choices as an, as an actor, but, but just kind of, um, living with the inability to move or to, to set your own schedule. And, um, and that was, uh, it was exhausting. For us guys, we started a little earlier. And see the thing with, I mean, there's been military shows before and there's actors that have done military shows before. And you know, if you were to do a Save a Private Ryan or a World War II, you know, these were, these were civilian men who were given a minimal amount of training, given a gun and sent to war. So there's a bit of leeway there with performance that you can, you can justify technicalities that may or may not work. But when you're playing a military guy from, from SEAL Team 6, from DevGru, you know, you're the elite of the US military. So there's no room for error. So we were sent initially to a military uh, boot camp in Encinatus where they broke us down mentally and physically and kind of gave us the experience of what it's like to in in very very different circumstances to, to what Walt was describing where you're not on your it's not your decision what you do next your life is literally in the hands of these drill instructors who tell you to go here do this pick that up move here you know and you're not pandered to and you're told 
to, to push past self-imposed boundaries that we make as human beings every day, and especially as actors, you know, we're very privileged with the lifestyle that comes with it, and you know, we're, I'm very fortunate in that I've been able to do that for the majority of my adult life, so therefore, uh, being told to push myself as, as me past these self-imposed things was tough, but they say, you know, we advise you to draw a new line every five minutes and push to here and push to here, and they push you to the breaking point every, every second. Um, that experience was incredible. With the, the six of us who went there, we became close, we became brothers, truly, in every sense of the word. Um, and then we, were, we went to uh, intense uh, weapons training. Uh, my proficiency with any form of firearm as an Englishman prior to that was like, bang, bang, Eddie is hard. Bash, bash, Whoa, throw Spurt the pots guy. and pans at them. Yeah, um, but I, I can do it now. And then we had um, tactical proficiency, so clearing rooms, um, move maneuvers with guns, live fire drills. Um, it was quite scary. I mean, we, we, were, we were very fortunate that we had members of, of DevGrew uh, working with us and kind of, you know, you don't get that level of training with those type of guys very often. You know, you, you know, know, the other thing, uh, just to kind of speak to this, mm -hmm. uh, this might be interesting for your viewers, you know, that people have all of these preconceived ideas about about people in the military, yeah. or or the persona that that it, that, that one uh, needs to have, right, in order to, when I say be successful, to fucking survive, yep. really, and and the guys that we had the opportunity to play transcend any any uh, preconceived notion of what these Macho, people are like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you have you have an alpha personality, right, and you have a beta personality. Well, in order to to move in these circles, you need a gamma personality. And, and what that is, and I didn't fully understand what that is, but in their world, it is a person who is, is rather bright, very, very smart, uh, naturally speaking, through, whether through academics or just the way that they are in the world. And, and they have the ability to follow at a moment's notice, and they have the ability to lead at a moment's notice. And it is a very rare group of people that are walking on this planet today that, that have all of the tools necessary and the stamina necessary to, to really be in this position, to, to uh, sacrifice kind of in this way. And, and it's a real sacrifice, man. It's not, it's not like you sign up for three years and you just go away and this is what you do. A lot of these guys have a 10 to 17 year career and and they have to uh, you know live their life on on a on a on a, on a razor mm -hmm. between their civilian life and between their active military life and um, and it and it's it's hard I mean it's hard for a plumber where I come from to go to work and to come home and and to be a, a father or to be a, a husband and 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 it's and it's very 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 difficult for for these for these people to do what they do.